Level 3 for the 1044 Great Western Railway service to the Portsmouth Harbour. <laughs> ourselves on a little break so we've taken an hour train to a place called bath and yeah we're here we're gonna shop we're gonna look at this hair oh my god we're gonna sort the hair out and yeah have some fun together a little solo trip so let's do a little room tour so this is the bathroom um i'm pretty sure you can see through the shower to the bedroom and the bed some space here for the luggage tv at the end coat hangers, tea and coffee making facilities. I think it's pretty cute. It's don't really need anything else, do you? <laughs> I think I'm gonna do something with this today. I think I'm gonna dye it. Maybe if I can find a hairdresser's, cut it because what is this? Good morning, everybody. What a difference a day makes, huh? I still look very, very tired, but I dyed my hair, which I wanted to do. I tinted my eyebrows because they were, I'm very like light skinned so they were disappearing on me. I'm feeling, I feel so much better just to have my hair done. Anyway, we're going out for breakfast now. There's a cafe called Lulu's Cafe and seeing as I'm Lucy Lulu, I thought we should go check it out. It's another cloudy day in ye old England but it's not raining so we take all the positives. Guys, I got a matcha. I got a matcha in the UK. I always get caramel in my matcha, but he thought it was kind of weird, so he gave it to me on the side. It's a nice little view. We got the, the Lulu's breakfast, so I went for a full English, obviously. I just came out with this um, free dessert that was on the house, and I cannot for the life of me remember what it's called. This is what it looks like. Delicious. Oh my God, guys, that is so good. I was swearing to myself that I was not going to have anything sugary for a while, but here I am. Just wandering around now. Lucy, that would be me. I am really not that good with directions, even if I'm looking at a map, even if I am looking at Google Maps, which I'm doing right now. And I still don't know where I am. I end up going around in circles. Anyway, we're going to somewhere called Victoria Park. Uh, someone told me that I need to go to. My intuition is telling me that I need to turn right on Marlborough Lane. Guy in a scooter. Does Lucy know where she's going? Absolutely not. You just walk past and there's some kind of interview going on down there. All going on at Bath Spa on a Thursday afternoon, isn't it? I feel like we should rename this vlog Let's Get Lost with Lucy. Hey, don't get too excited, but I think I found it. I found it. Or <sighs> Victoria Park, City of Bath. So, while I'm sat down taking a little break because I'm unfit, do any of you know how to do the, the whistle trick with the piece of grass? So you get a piece of grass, and you put it in between your thumbs and then you blow. I don't have the faintest idea where I'm going. We're off-roading because this path is tiny and cute and I need to know what happens at the end of it. That's the bet I get really lost. <laughs> in here. Dana. Dana. All jokes aside, it is actually lovely. It's just like a whole hotel. Oh my God, there's a squirrel in the tree. Hey, Betty. You are so cute. So while we're sat in this lovely little botanical garden park, um, I thought I'd let you guys know that I am actually cutting my trip short and I'm going back to Holbosch next month. The reason being is I just, I'm a little homesick. I miss my cats so much. There is no way that I could have stayed till August, which was our original plan. No way, like every day <laughs> is like a struggle for me being without the cats and not being at home. And I don't know, I just feel like Mexico is where my my soul is, like where I belong. As much as I've obviously enjoyed being back and seeing family and friends, it's just like the UK is not my mentality. I don't know, it just, it sends me into kind of a dark place coming back here. And that's nothing to do with my friends or family, that's just to do with the country itself, so. Yeah, that's a little information on, yeah, me. It is spa o'clock, people. We're gonna go head into this building and check out these thermal spas that are apparently very famous to bath. All right, we are in. I've been given um, a robe, some flip-flops, 
and a towel and I've got two hours and a half in here. This is the current situation. I've got my robe on, got my towel, and then we're gonna go into the spa, but you're not allowed phones in the spa, so we're gonna sneak it in. We can pull natural thermal waters that has rained over 10,000 years ago. Wow. This is the view. And then this is the, the pool on the rooftop here and the view you get from the pool. And that's about as much as I can show you because I just got told off for having my phone upstairs. So off to the locker right there. That was, I would say like a seven out of 10. It was lovely, but was it worth the money? I'm not really sure. Anyway, I'm gonna go back to the hotel and dry my hair. They did have hair dryers there, but there was 10 million people waiting. Guess who's back and not looking like a drenched wrap. We're gonna take ourselves for a little bit of dinner now. All right, I can hear the music. So I think this is the place that I wanted to go in. They've got live jazz music and like some Indian sharing platters. I like the vibe, but whether they're gonna sit me on my own, I don't know. Guys, they have got the mocktails. I am one happy lady. All right, we got myself my mocktail, which I can't remember what's in it, but I think it's ginger beer is in here and some other fancy things. And then my food is here as well. So I got a garlic naan, um, here we've got the lamb curry and some pilau rice. Happy Lucy. I am definitely full, but I'm gonna try a dessert while I'm here. I think I'm gonna get a coffee. That feels very jazzy, you know? I sit here with a coffee. It was a tough choice. Thank you. No worries. It was a tough choice between uh, the mango cheesecake and there was like a rice pudding as well. And then I got a latte. Just left. I'm absolutely stuffed. That was delicious. And the atmosphere was so nice. And all the staff were like so friendly. I've had a really lovely like two day trip and yeah i'm actually thinking about extending it for another night because i'm just getting into my groove and then you know i've got to check out tomorrow thank you guys look at that view behind me lovely isn't it uh thank you guys for joining me as always love you love you and i will see you guys next week next sunday bye